Cruise news. Major stir going on right now regarding some actions by cruisers on a Royal Caribbean balcony. Great idea or should they be kicked off? I'm going to get you the information. Plus, I have the top 10 cruise news updates from across the cruise industry, and I'm going to get you the information fast. Coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick things off with number one, Royal Caribbean has canceled at least a month of visits to Labadee, Haiti. Labadee is Royal Caribbean's private destination in the Caribbean nation. Civil unrest and violence in Haiti has led Royal Caribbean to begin canceling visits. Initially, Royal Caribbean was just evaluating and making a cancellation decision on each cruise three days before it was scheduled to set sail. But now they have made the decision to go ahead and cancel all visits to Labadee all the way out through mid-April. The alternative plans are currently being communicated for each impacted cruise. Number two, MSC Cruises has announced the naming ceremony for their new ship, the MSC World America. The World America will be one of the largest cruise ships in the world when it launches next year. And it will be based in MSC's new Port Miami Cruise Terminal. When it is completed, that cruise terminal will be the largest in the world. Amazingly, cruise fares for the new ship remain low, starting at only $649 per person. The naming ceremony for the World America has been scheduled for April 9th of next year. Moving on to number three, an earthquake has rocked the Caribbean nation of Grenada. Grenada is located in the southern Caribbean. The earthquake registered a 4.8 magnitude on the Richter scale. Of the millions of earthquakes that occur each year, only about 2,000 reach that magnitude. Tremors were also felt in nearby Trinidad and Tobago. Thankfully, there have been no reports of serious injury. Next, number four, an entertainer on board a MSC cruise ship has been arrested on charges of raping a cruise passenger. This occurred on board the MSC Fantasia cruise ship. The victim reported to the captain who alerted authorities in Palma de Mallorca. Located in the western Mediterranean, the Spanish city of Palma was the next port of call for the cruise ship. The 27-year-old was arrested when the ship arrived at port, but he has now been released on bail. A little over a year ago, a very similar situation occurred and the Palma court dismissed the case saying, quote, It had no jurisdiction over the case because the alleged crime happened in international waters on board a Panamanian flagship, so to all effects in Panamanian territory. So we will have to wait and see what happens in this situation. Then number five, HX Expeditions, formerly known as Hurtigruten, has announced that they will transition to be all-inclusive later this year. The popular Expedition Cruise Line is best known for its voyages to the Galapagos Islands as well as Antarctica. They said that they are changing to all-inclusive to simplify pricing. The cruise fare will begin to include all food, drinks, Wi-Fi, gratuities, activities on and off the ship, and more. The transition to the new model will take place in October of this year. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but quick question, chime in down below. Speaking of an all-inclusive cruise, my question for the day is simply this, what would you prefer? Would you prefer an A, an all-inclusive cruise, where you have a higher price, but absolutely everything is included? Or would you prefer B, a lower base price, and then you get to choose the additional add-ons? Chime in down below with what you would prefer. Would love to know your thoughts, but now on with the cruise news. Number six, MSC Cruises is resuming operations in China. The ship will be the MSC Bellissima, and it will base its operations in Shanghai. With this move, MSC will be the first international cruise line to home port in China since the pandemic. And MSC will also be adding a second vessel to its Chinese operations at the end of this year. Number seven, a cruise ship entertainer is suing Royal Caribbean after being assaulted during his performance. The incident occurred last year on the Quantum of the Seas cruise ship. When Australian magician Ben Murphy got close with a female passenger on stage, a man from the audience took him down. The magician is now looking to get some money. He has filed a lawsuit both against Royal Caribbean and the man who assaulted him. He is seeking $75,000 in damages. Moving on to number eight, investigators are saying that a cruise ship that was involved in a 2019 tragedy never should have set sail. I am talking about the Viking Sky cruise ship. It ignored storm warnings and left port. The ship then had engine problems and rough seas smashed windows. Helicopters had to evacuate 480 people and 36 people were admitted to the hospital. 
Investigators are saying, quote, the accident was caused by insufficient lubricating oil in all of the operating diesel engines. This was combined with the rough seas. Investigators said that the Viking Sky failed to comply with applicable safety standards and it was within a ship's length of running aground. Next, number nine, Disney Cruise Line has announced the first details for their upcoming ship called the Disney Destiny. The theme of the ship will be heroes and villains. Highlighted in the ship will be Walt Disney stories such as The Lion King, Hercules, and 101 Dalmatians. The Disney Destiny is scheduled to launch in 2025. Then number 10, there is lots of conversation going on right now about some activity on a Royal Caribbean balcony. The incident took place recently on the Allure of the Seas cruise ship. Someone posted this picture on social media showing a couple who pulled their mattress onto the balcony to do some reading. The ship was docked at Coco Cay at the time. The picture was taken by someone on board the Anthem of the Seas cruise ship which was also docked at Coco Cay. There were loads of reactions to the post. Some people thought they should be kicked off, others thought it was good innovation. Several commented that they do the same or something similar. Some said that they pulled their mattress out there and others said that they used the couch cushions. Now it is unclear if Royal Caribbean has any kind of specific rule regarding this type of behavior. Some commenters pointed out that it would make the mattress or the cushions dirty. Others noted the impact of the increased humidity. But there were also many that were very supportive of their actions. Would love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video, it'll be coming out soon. But until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video. Ooh.